What's going on people? It's another match day vlog because people have been asking. The first one went well, so I thought, you know what? It's the first time the big boys are meeting this season. Let's show you what I'm experiencing today. And you know, the teams have come through. Rob Holding's in there, Vieira's in there, Trossard. It's a start for Trossard. I'm excited to see what he can bring. City have gone pretty much full strength. It's going to be a difficult game, people. It is going to be a difficult game, but I'm predicting a draw. Obviously, it's the last thing that we need is a draw because we don't want another replay. But I've got belief in the boys. I've got faith. It's not our full strength squad, so it is going to be a little bit difficult. City are a different animal, especially at home. I haven't got good memories here. I'm not going to lie. No good memories, people. But look, hopefully we can get the victory. We can get through to the next round and I make a statement as well. If we can get that mentality edge over Man City today that will be something getting that psychological edge going into these Premier League games I'm telling you now it will do the boys a world of good all I know boys is let's go let's fucking have it come on you Man City won, Arsenal nil. But you know what? I'm proud of the boys today. Right from the start, we had six of our first teamers out. And that first half, we frustrated Man City. We were the better side. Trossard come into the team and he gives us a total different option, a different dimension. 
what a player Trossard is. Get me left foot, right foot, top, top player. And I can't really fault the boys. The second half, we took off Thomas Partey and brought on Sambi Lakonga. And it kind of changed up, I'm not going to lie. The, the control of the midfield, it wasn't the same. It was just one of them situations where we kind of lost the grip of the game. It was a game of two halves for me. But Arsenal, this has given me massive confidence thinking that we can definitely go on and really challenge and win this league if we bring in that midfield, especially for backup, especially for some squad depth in that position, because I don't think the Congo is going to cut it. I don't want to really pick out players too much, but at the same time, I just feel like we definitely need that player, Caicedo. The news and reports have come out. He's posted on Instagram saying that Brighton have um, received the biggest transfer fee. Nothing's been confirmed from Brighton. Nothing's been confirmed from Arsenal. It could be Chelsea. We don't know who it is, but it looks like he's on his way out. Fabrizio Romano has also tweeted it as well. But the boys today, they did as well, man. We're going to end up playing City now. They had their full strength squad out, barring Edison. And that first half for me, they, they couldn't get a hold of us. Haaland in that game as well. I don't think Haaland really did much, you know. The, Rob Holding played well in that first half. He came off a sleeper in the second, but Rob Holding did well against them. But it is what it is, people. We move, you get me. Now we focus on two competitions, the two big ones, the Europa League and the Premier League. But come on, you Gunners, let's fucking go. Let's have it.